Lisa, I was here with um, Third Movement. I wanted to bring a video to you guys. Um, I want to talk about something I had been seeing. Everybody know the story of, um, I believe his name is Andre Cardwell. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, I, I ask for forgiveness. <laughs> but um, Andre Cardwell was the guy at the uh, Kojic Church who came on the microphone and said that he was delivered. Remember that? Um, he don't mess with men's no more. He's delivered. I should love that. I don't mess with men's. But I, I, I want to talk about this situation a little bit because I feel like the body of Christ is, is kind of like wrong on this one. Um, we, we're not backing this brother up. This brother gave his testimony and, 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 and from his heart, from what I've said, from what I've seen in the interview, now I've not interviewed him myself, but what I've seen in the interview this brother gave his testimony from his heart. There was nothing behind it. He didn't get paid according to what he says. He got, um, actually he got 200 some dollars that people were just blessing him with, um, just for giving his testimony. I've seen people in churches give their testimony and people be like, I'm on the bless you, bless you, brother. And, 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 and that's what that was, right? From what, from what I've seen and everything that he said. I can't go by what other, by what other person said, whatever. So, anyways. So the brother's having a hard time because, um, you know, everybody's coming against him. The gay people that, that, that don't like the fact that he's coming out of homosexuality is coming against him. Um, the people that um, the church um, is coming against him. So everybody's coming against this brother, man. He, he, I think he's, he's gotten beaten up and everything at um, once and everything. All because he shared his testimony that he's not gay no more. And the body of Christ, we're not showing this brother respect. We're not coming after. We're not. We're not coming behind this brother and say, "Man, we got you, man." If they're gonna attack you, no, bro, we got you. No one is, man. This man is just pretty much by himself. So the brother came out and said that you know he wasn't gay, and, and everybody jumping on, but the church is not backing him up. So what what I'm what I'm doing in the video is I wanna I wanna ask you guys to pray for the uh, faith, pray for the brother. Um, I seen an interview, um, how it all started, I seen an interview with him and they was asking him all kinds of questions, they were asking him how much money he get, he lived with an older guy and they asked him was that his lover and everything, just because he was rooming with other guys, so they was going in on him in this interview, and um, I felt like he had to defend himself when he shouldn't, um, th this world is crazy man, the, the, this, the world will come and spit out their own. So what do you think they'll do to ours, especially especially because they don't like Christ and they say that we'll get crucified, crucified or we'll get uh, what you call it for the for the for the cause of Christ. And when I mean crucified, I don't mean like just on the cross. I'm talking about the way they do us in the media. You know how they doing us Christians in the media. But let's stand with brother. Um, I seen uh, um, he, he said in, in in a different interview that I seen. And I only read um, quotes, um, quote unquote, and he said that he still struggles with homosexuality, but he's been delivered. So they're going around saying he's still gay because he struggled with homosexuality. Um, just because I struggle with the thoughts of a woman, I don't commit it to what Jesus says to your thoughts, but it's a struggle for him, man. He's not gay because he had those thoughts. Those thoughts, those thoughts are very real because he was into that lifestyle. He was, he was into that. He was, he, he, he did those thoughts. He lived those thoughts. So now what he has to do is, he really has to just come against those thoughts with the word of God. Come against those thoughts with the name of Jesus. Um, for instance, anybody that was addicted to porn, they know that after porn addiction, even if they stop watching it, they're going to still have those thoughts. And they're going to just have to cast those thoughts down. Um, the thought process doesn't make us that, like, if, if, if somebody think they're gay, or uh, have thoughts of being gay, that don't mean they're gay, that mean they just gotta come against their thoughts. Um, the flesh want what the flesh want, and we have to beat our flesh into submission. Um, I don't wanna say, I don't wanna say beat. We have to take our flesh and, 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 and let our flesh know that we are in control, so the flesh can't get what it wants. We have to be in control at all times. So I just want to make this video to let you guys know that you know our brother is, is battling, man. Um, and if you feel like he's still a homosexual, then 
what other reason you need to pray, to pray for him if you feel like he's still one, right? You should be praying for him harder. Um, it's going to get crazy, man. Um, this whole gay war is going to get crazy, and I think the church brought it on to ourselves because we was out there telling people they shouldn't do this, they telling people they shouldn't do that. When we were doing stuff that was against God, we should have been living it better. We should have been living the gospel better than just going around and telling people they can't have this and they can't have that. Um, of course, I believe that gay is a sin. Um, I think the homosexual, the whole homosexual movement, I think it's best explained in Romans 1. Um, I haven't did a video in it yet because I just haven't had time, but um, Romans 1 tells us that don't open the door. Let me put the windows up. That it, it, um, um, people give up the, the the natural lust for the unnatural. So it's, it's not natural. It's a sin. It's against nature. Um, and so God, I encourage you to go read read Romans one. Um, and you know, just pray for the brother, man. Um, let's have up there movement.